Hey YouTube, welcome back to Just Peddling Barbecue. Today let's do some keto friendly chili on the Watchman stove. <laughs> utilizing the Watchman stove to cook this chili in a large uh, cast iron Dutch oven and it's going to be keto friendly we're going to be adding some good fats in there but we're going to stay away from the beans so what I've got in the pot so far is about two tablespoons of olive oil a tablespoon of coconut oil and about a tablespoon or two of the Kerrygold's grass-fed butter so now we're fixing to add our meat and now for the meat I've got one pound of the Johnsonville uh, hot spicy sausage. And we're gonna go in with that. And I've also got a pound and a half of 80-20 ground beef that we're gonna go in with. And all we're gonna do is brown this off. Then we're going to go in with a pound and a half of ground beef, 80-20. And start mixing that up. Now with the washing stove today, I'm just cooking with real wood today, no charcoal. Um, and that's one of the things that's great about this washing stove is you can use all kind of different uh, fuel sources. But I felt like doing some wood today, and so that's what we're going with. All right, so now that our meat's brown, we're going to start putting in our seasonings. And the first thing that we're going to go in with is one tablespoon of cumin. Go in with that. One tablespoon of curry powder. One tablespoon of chili powder. One teaspoon of onion powder. A teaspoon of minced garlic. going to salt it to taste and a little bit of cracked black pepper and let's give that a good stir All right, now I'm going to go in with two cans of Rotel Chunky, the original version of the Rotel. And one cup of broth or stock, whatever you prefer. And now it might require another cup. It just depends on how thick or how loose that you like your chili. Okay, so stir that around, get all that incorporated, and now we're going to put a lid on it and let it simmer for a little bit. I'm going to check the consistency of this chili, see if we need to use any more stock, but it looks pretty good to me. I think that's kind of the way we like our chili. The missus gave her approval too, so that's the way we're going to stick with it. Watch my stove is doing great. And by the way, I want to also add that I got this cart for the watch my stove that they offer as an accessory just to help pull it around the cool deck and that kind of thing. It's a great design. Uh, ben and all the guys over at Watch My Stove did a great job with that. And it helps me because I like moving it around and getting it out of the weather and that kind of thing. And the casters on it are great. The design's simple but effective 
And so if y'all got one of these Watchman stoves, check out this car because this thing is great. All right, this chili's ready, so now we're fixing to take a taste test and wind this up. Got a good ladle here. I mean, it looks like good chili. Probably with a little spice to it. That'll be good. Again, the watch my stove did great today. And I know this stuff is piping hot. While I let it cool, I'll put the, uh, I'll figure out the macros if you're interested uh, with this chili and I'll put it in the description box below. So uh, if you're interested in that, please check that out. Uh, there'll be more keto friendly recipes to come. And uh, even if you're not doing keto, this is, I think gonna be a great chili we're fixing to find out. Let's try it. You can really smell that sausage. Hmm. This had a pound of sausage, a pound and a half of ground beef, but what really comes through is that sausage. And then the spices that we added, and it does have a kick. This would be great, topped with a little sour cream on top. That'll cut through that spiciness, awesome. Great pot of chili, great watch my stove. Check all of it out. Thanks for joining me. Just Piddling Barbecue, until next time, I'll be Piddling. Hold on a minute. I mean, just that right there burnt my tongue. That'll probably be a blooper. <laughs>